What's up guys and welcome back to Overkill Gaming, your home for high-end gaming, whether it's PC, PS5, or handheld, we got you covered. Some of you may remember a video I put out about a month ago showing how to run Overwatch 2 in SteamOS. Back then we were using an app called Bottles, which basically emulated a Windows environment, and that's how we were able to get the game to work. Needless to say, it did work, but it had some issues. Some people had a hard time just getting it set up. On top of that, there was an issue where every time you launched the game, it had to download shaders, which meant having to wait about 15 to 20 minutes every time you launched the game. And since then, I've moved on to just playing the game in Windows because I do have a dual booted Steam Deck and it runs pretty good over there. And today I am pleased to announce from my Steam OS guys that there is a much better way to play Overwatch 2 in Steam OS on the Steam Deck. And we're going to show you how to do that today. We're going to show you how to install Battle.net, how to install Overwatch 2 and run it using a Proton. And we will also show you how to install it to an SD card. Because I remember when we were doing our bottles tutorial, a lot of people were asking me, hey, how do I put this on an SD card? So we're going to show you that also. And as an added bonus at the end, we're going to show you how well this game performs on Steam OS compared to how it performs on Windows. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please be sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future content like this. Lots of great content on this channel for the Steam Deck. We also cover PC and PS5 as well. You definitely don't want to miss out on any of it. So the first thing we're going to do is boot into steam os and then switch over to desktop mode after that we'll go into a browser and we'll download battle.net for windows and since we're going to be running battle.net within a proton on steam os we're going to need to go to discover and download proton up qt and install it it should take just about a minute or so once it's installed, you can launch it from Discover or you can find it just by going to the application launcher and then typing in Proton up QT or just typing Proton and it should pop up for you. Once it's open, the Proton that we are going to look for is the latest GE Proton 7-39. We'll go ahead and select that and click install. And it should take just about a minute or two for it to uh, download and install. Once it's done installing, we can now go to Steam and add the Battle.net installer to Steam as a non-Steam game. And all we have to do is go to add a game down here at the bottom, add non-game to Steam. And then once we're in the file explorer, we're gonna go to our root directory, click on home, click on deck, and then go to downloads. And then we're going to need to change this to all files to be able to see it. And then we just click on it and click open and then add selected programs. And we should now be able to see the battle.net setup.exe in our library. We're going to go to the gear on the right side, go to properties, go to compatibility, and then force it to use GE Proton 7-39. And then we can close out of that. And now we will launch the installer. And from here, the installation process is pretty straightforward. It's the exact same process that you would go through on a regular PC. I will say this, this part of the process can be a little bit buggy. When it came time to log in with my credentials, I had the keyboard popping up, you know, opening on me and closing on me. And it was a little bit buggy. I just had to be patient with it and just, you know, keep trying. And I was able to log in with my credentials. So if that happens to you, don't give up Just you know, keep trying and you will eventually get through. It didn't take too long, maybe just a minute, but it, I did encounter a little bit of bugginess and glitchiness when I was trying to log in. But after that, everything is pretty smooth. All right, so now we have the launcher installed and we've signed in with our credentials and it's just going through some of the orientation aspects of the Battle.net launcher. We're gonna just go ahead and click through all of this and then we're going to go ahead and close out of the Battle.net launcher and move to the next step. So we're going to go back 
to Steam, we're gonna add a game, add a non-Steam game. Click on Browse, and we wanna go to the Root folder. And then from there, we wanna go to Home, then Deck, and then we wanna go to Local, and then Share. And then we wanna scroll down until we find Steam. From here, we wanna go to Steam Apps, and then Compact Data. And then you see these numbers here, these long numbers, these are the, the programs that you've downloaded and the short ones, those are for steam games. So anything that you've downloaded is going to have one of these long numbers. And what we want to do is we want to search for the one that we recently downloaded and we can tell by the time and date that it shows here on the right side. So keep track of the time and date that you download Battle.net and then that's going to tell us which one it is here. I downloaded Battle.net at 9.35 on November 7th. So that's the one that we're going to choose. From there, we're going to click on PFX, Drive C, Program Files, x86, Battle.net. And right here, Battle.net Launcher EXE is the file that we're looking for. So we'll go ahead and click open and then add selected program. And now we have Battle.net Launcher loaded into Steam as a non-Steam game. And we can now uninstall the Battle.net installer. And before we're able to run the Battle.net Launcher, we need to go to Properties, go to Compatibility, and then force it to use Proton 7-39. All right, so now we have it open. We have to enter our credentials again, and you will encounter that same bug that I mentioned earlier. But like I said, just be patient with it. Put in your credentials and it will let you in and it'll be smooth sailing after that. All right, so we've entered our credentials and now we just need to install the game. So this part right here is for those who want to install the game directly to the internal storage. After, if you want to install the game to the SD card, skip this part, go to the next part, which will show you how to put it onto the SD card. Installing to the internal storage is pretty straightforward. It's the exact same process as it would be on a regular PC. So right now we're just downloading and installing the game to our C drive. Now for those who want to install it to their SD card, we're going to go to Dolphin on the left side under removable devices. You'll see it says primary. That's where our SD card is located. We're going to go ahead and create a folder here. You can call it Battle.net, Battle.net games, whatever it is that you want to name it. This is where we're going to install our Battle.net games. And then after that, we'll just go ahead and click OK or hit enter. And now we're ready to install Overwatch 2 on the SD card. So we're going to launch back into Battle.net again. And we are loading back into Battle.net. And here we are. So now we can install Overwatch 2 onto our SD card. We're going to go to change folder. And on the left side, you're going to see something that looks like this. You're going to see some directories. For me, it turned out that my SD card was on drive D and we can tell because of the folder that we created called Battle.net games is found in that directory. So now we are installing Overwatch 2 to the SD card to the folder that we created, which for me was on drive D. Okay, so now we have the game fully installed. We're going to go back to Dolphin to the directory on our SD card where we installed the game. And what we want to do is we want to copy this file location and that way we can tell Steam where to launch this game. If we right click on the directory and click edit, we can copy this location. And now we'll head back to Steam and you can see here I've even added a little um, picture for Battle.net to make it look more official. But we're going to go back into the game properties. And right here where it says launch options, we will type the following steam underscore compat underscore mounts with an S at the end equals. And then we're just going to paste 
the directory that we just copied. We'll just paste it right here. And then we're going to put a space afterward, followed by a percent sign, the word command, and then percent sign. And we're done. So now we'll go ahead and close out of this and we'll launch into Battle.net and Overwatch 2. Now, my first time launching the game, it did take a minute for it to actually get into the game. I'm not sure if it's because I have it installed on an SD card and maybe it could be faster if I have it on the internal SSD, but it may take a minute if you have it on an SD card. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at how this game performs and we will compare it to how well it performs on Windows 11. All right, so we're giving the game a moment to download the shaders. And one way you'll know that the shaders are done downloading is that the frame rate will stabilize at 60 FPS. If you do see the frame rate jumping around, uh, going very low and back to 60 again, it's probably because it's still downloading the shaders just like you see right here. And the good thing about using this Proton is that you won't have to go through the whole shader download every time you launch the game like we had to with bottles and we are running this on a mix of um, medium and low and medium settings the game seems to be able to hold 60 fps fairly well i mean it does have some drops here and there like you just saw right there but it's it's manageable it's, it's actually holding up pretty well I will say that I do think, you know, based on my experience playing this game in Windows, it does perform slightly better in Windows, but it's not a huge difference. I think this is uh, running pretty well on SteamOS. And just for comparison here, we are running the game in Windows 11. And as you can see, it does hold 60 FPS a little bit better than it does in SteamOS, but for the most part, the performance isn't there isn't a huge difference between the two in terms of performance and we are using the exact same settings here in windows 11 and as you can see even with a lot of action going on on the screen it doesn't really drop too often from 60 fps so the performance is better in windows 11 than on steam os but i say both are good whichever you choose i think you'll be pretty happy with but if you do have a dual booted Steam Deck, obviously the better choice is going to be to play this in Windows 11. So there it is, guys. There you go. That's how you install Battle.net Overwatch 2 using Proton 7-39. And it runs good. And we even showed you how to put it on SD card this time. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, Make sure to leave a like on the video and also subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos like this. Lots of great content on this channel for the Steam Deck. You definitely don't want to miss out. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one. We're out of here. Peace.